The operator UI shows the network service chaining system and gives an overview on the connected devices. Now a device has been connected. We can see it is assigned to the default service chain and it's only able to access the redirect portal, as we can see on the right side of the screen. The customer portal redirects all web accesses to a customer portal. If we open a web page on the client device, as in this example, the homepage of TU Darmstadt, we will see that we are redirected to a customer portal which allows the self-service for users. Now we change the service chain from default access to unlimited access. We can see the same event from the operator UI. Now the service chain selection has been switched to unlimited access. And we are now able to access all services available, as we can see on the right side. If we now access the homepage of TU Darmstadt again, we can see that it is depicted as expected and fully functional. The operator UI can be used to create and edit service chains. We drag a service function from the top of the screen in the empty space in the middle of the service function chaining area. This creates a new service chain. By clicking on the service chain name, we get a text field that allows to change the name. Now, by drag and drop, we can move the user to the newly created service chain. It contains a service function that replaces all images on web pages by logos of Deutsche Telekom. Now, if we reload the page of TU Darmstadt, we can see that indeed all, page, all images are replaced. The dynamic switching of service chains can be used to change the quality of live video streams on the internet. We will now assign the user to a low quality video stream and in the process of streaming we will switch him to a high quality service chain. The video is started and displays. However, Artifacts are clearly visible, indicating that we are seeing the low quality version of the video. In the meantime, in the operator UI, this user is switched to the service chain enforcing a high quality video. After a few seconds of buffering, the video quality changes on the fly to a higher quality level. Now the video quality has been changed. 
we can see, uh, see that clearly there are less artifacts and the resolution is much higher. We will show what happened on the operator UI from a different perspective. We will switch the user back to this low quality service chain and now have a look again on the video output to see what happens. Again we see the high quality video and have now switched as shown before the video quality in the operator view. After a few seconds the video quality is changed back to the low quality which is clearly visible by the artifacts in the video. A second UI available is a network operator UI. To show its features, we will now assign the user to a service chain that includes three different service functions. The process of assigning the new service chain is now depicted on the network UI. On the lower right side, we see the user icon depicted as a tablet. On the left side, we see the currently used service function instance. Now the user has been assigned to a different service chain. The service functions are immediately changed and are now depicted on the lower left side and the upper right side. We can also see that they are connected to two different service nodes. Also the network traffic is shown in real time through varying the thickness of the lines and their color. <laughs>